Hello, Vinyl Community. It's MGK Boston. That's Mike. Here's Patty right here. Patty Cheesecake. She's been making cheesecake, baking cookies. We're visiting her parents in southwestern Ontario, Canada. And here they are over here. We have Howard on the right, and we have Bonna on the left. Okay. <laughs> Both great accomplished musicians wow. yeah. in their spare time. So Howard and Bonna, uh, maybe one of you, what are we up to tonight? We're going to play Amazing Grace to start out with. We'll play three or four songs, but first will be Amazing Grace. You, may know, you might recognize it. Hopefully you will. <laughs> I think I might. Yeah, okay. Okay. Wonderful. I'd clap my hands if I wasn't holding this phone. <laughs> that was awesome. That was terrific. Yeah, I'll do Home in the Range. I was going to say, why don't you get my iPad and take something too? Okay. This is Home in the Range? Yeah, this is Home in the Range. This is Home in the Range, in case you don't recognize it. Canada, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> but you're going to say it is. <laughs> We're off for seeing a fellow barbershopper and I had a little engagement in a local retail meat store over December. We go in for a couple hours on a Sunday, oh, Saturday morning, play Christmas carols and that kind of stuff, and we also play Red River Valley when Bono finds it. I'm not sure I've ever been here. No. I thought so Howard, while well, we're oh, segue, yes, uh, tell a little to the audience about your barbershop. Uh, you, you know. Oh well, okay. <laughs> I've been involved in music since I was about eight years of age. <laughs> I started doing my little lessons when I was eight. I'll tell you a little story about my father. Well, I'll tell that later. <laughs> uh, but yeah, lessons at grade eight, no, age eight, and uh, violin lessons all the way through school. I had grade eight in the violin, which was worth a, a subject. In high school. I never made, took advantage of it, but it was, was, was a subject. And then after that, dance bands, more recently barbershopping, barbershopping for 30 years. Uh, almost getting ready to retire. I've been doing it for so long, it's time to retire. You're still young, yeah. Howard. Yeah. Anyway, have you found Red River Valley? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Let's start on D. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yep. <laughs> Song. We'll meet again. Uh, you're a minute, sung it many times. 
Matter of fact, we even has a barbershop song. Just a beautiful piece of music. I'm not sure I play it beautifully. Very timely, Howard, for Remembrance Day on November 11th. We'll find out if I play it beautifully. tune here or not just dedicated okay. to you folks my father played the violin a little bit rather rustic but he played it he know the old violin and once in a while he get it out and he play a song let me call your sweetheart obviously to his mother or grandma wasn't really in tune but he recognized the tune and he, he enjoyed doing it i'm not sure where that old violin ended up it's too bad i hadn't kept it but I guess I started taking lessons on that old violin and we had a cream man come to our farm about twice a week to pick up milk or cream in order to creamery and he heard I was playing the violin he told dad is I got an old violin I'll sell you for ten dollars well that happens to be this violin it was a little rustic a little rough but I took it to my music teacher Jane Lamb she said that violin is good enough to play green ink on so it was a pretty decent violin for ten dollars probably a little win 19, oh. <laughs> ooh, middle uh, 40s. Middle 40s. Middle yes. or late 40s. Uh -huh. Anyway, this is the number that dad used to play for mother. I think almost on a yearly basis. What's that first note? Uh, a B. B. <laughs> So that's an Irish uh, traditional, right? Yeah. We, yeah. we danced with some big bands, too. We were down to the Brad Hidden Road a couple times for Gallimbardo. Oh, Gallimbardo yeah. Orchestra, yes. Yes. And, uh, in London, Ontario. And the, the trumpet player. Yeah. Who was the trumpet Louis player? Armstrong. Louis Armstrong. Oh, wow. Yeah. 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 We were down there three or four times to those guys playing. You saw them? Oh, yeah. oh yes. We oh, danced yes. to them. Oh, you did? Oh, yes. Wow. And when people could dance? Oh, yes. 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 It was outdoor orchestra like a turtle. Yeah. 
And Louis Dressed Armstrong had lines. a Louis Armstrong had a problem with white hankies on the on the panel. Yeah. <laughs> and, oh. And he after he played a shooting, he wet himself off and, and get a new hanky. Didn't just go like that. <laughs> yeah. Oh uh, wow. It's just all part of the show. Oh yeah, okay. incredible. Like Benny Boy. It starts on a B. B. <laughs> Outstanding! <laughs> Patty, clap for me. I'm holding this phone. Bravo, bravo. That, that was incredible. That was incredible. Um, Howard, you need to start a YouTube channel with Bonna. Uh, I know many people would watch. Um, and I'm going to post this video and, I, and I'm going to send it to you. And I want you to read all the comments because I'm sure they're going to be amazing. That was a, that was a really great mini concert right here in southwestern Ontario. Great with my material. Yes, beautiful Guelph, Ontario. <laughs> Howard, take a bow. Okay. There, uh, Bonna, you're seated, but there you go. All right, folks. Okay. Thanks for watching.